right guys, so that was the Brunswick Demo Day here at Idea Bowling Center thrown on by Doug's Pro Shop. Uh, John and I threw a bunch of different balls. I threw, actually I think everything. You threw what, 10? 10 balls, yep. 10. So we're just gonna go through quick, get our top five honorable mention and the ball that we kind of felt the least about. John, if you wanna kick it off. Sure, uh, I'm gonna start with line number five. Uh, I got my little cheat sheet here. Uh, for me, it was the uh, Vaporize. Uh, it was it was good, but uh, I feel like if I missed outside, I had a hard time getting back. If I missed inside, it was a little too jumpy, so it's my number five. Uh, my number five also... Thanks, car. <laughs> my number five also happened to be the Vaporize, actually for very similar reasons. So, felt like one of those, if I missed outside, it really started to labor back. If I missed inside, it looked okay. But overall, good ball, worth the hype. Did it crack my top three? No. But very good ball overall. Uh, number four for me was uh, surprisingly the uh, Rattler Big Bite. Uh, I feel like it was uh, just enough ball uh, to use on fresh, but it was also perfect for transition. Uh, threw like six, seven strikes in a row with it. And uh, yeah, very, very, very good ball. My number four is actually the one that John intentionally avoided in the uh, Super super Cuda Power Core. Very smooth, very controllable, could miss outside. I decided to try throwing, uh, staying on 15 through 30, and play different parts of the lane and struck in all different spots. So to me, that's a very versatile ball. Doesn't, not my number one, but very versatile. It could be used on definitely different conditions. All right, my number three was the uh, Ebonite One Reverb. Uh, that was a very strong ball. Uh, I was very surprised at how clean it was still, um, but it had a lot of teeth. I was very surprised. I had to put a lot of gas behind it. Uh, not so much that it was uncomfortable, but uh, I could, if I have to, I really give it some muscle. And uh, but I feel like it's one of those balls I couldn't throw all night. So yeah, it's number three. Yeah, you threw the first shot and it looked great. It was like 40 feet down, and also looked like someone just like kicked it left. Like it was just like, <laughs> well, we weren't expecting that. Number three for me was the Radical Zigzag Solid. I uh, really liked the original Zigzag at the demo last year, but something about the Solid, it just, it was nice and smooth. It was actually the first ball I threw. And fresh house shot, rolled nice through the front, very controllable. Couldn't go too crazy far left or right, but if you're a first ball out of that kind of, kind of ball, works really well. Uh, my number two was the uh, Mesmerize. That ball was very good. Uh, not as strong as the Reverb, but uh, it was definitely a very strong contender. Uh, unfortunately, it felt like one of those balls I couldn't throw all night. So, number two, number two. Number two, actually also the Mesmerize for me. Um, so the two eyes balls were <laughs> same spot for both of us. But basically the same thing as John. It's another one where I could see that as actually a step down uh, from the zigzag salad. I know it doesn't really fit on their version of the ball chart in that same spot, but I feel like that's a nice one-two punch personally, especially if you change the surface on the Mesmerize. But even out of box the way it was, I, mean, I think we were the first group to throw them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, looks really nice, really clean. Big fan of Mesmerize. And it's another four-color ball, so it looks nice too. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna switch down to my uh, honorable mention uh, today. My honorable mention is the Pure Envy. Uh, as sticking with the color uh, scheme, uh, pink just looks great going down the lane. Uh, it was a lot of ball, it rolled really well, but uh, a, little, a little too clean for my liking. Uh, so that's why it didn't quite crack the top five for me. But you're honorable. Honorable for me is actually the Stealth Hybrid. Um, I did not get a chance to throw either the original Stealth or the Stealth Pearl, um, but everything that I've seen on them, it, it fits right in between the two, in my opinion, kind of like a true hybrid should. Uh, I think it was a little bit more solid heavy, if I'm not mistaken. It, or no, I'm sorry, a little more pearl heavy. Don't know if that was just lane shine or if that's just if that's the cover. I missed what the cover uh, actually was on that. Yeah, I think I would I would agree. It's probably the cover. Yeah, but the self hybrid just missed my top five. It really could have swapped either way with the with the vaporize. They both, I feel like, played a strong part in the bag, but also played a very similar part in the bag. Not necessarily worth having both, in my opinion. Vaporize just carried a little bit better for me. So, Stealth Hybrid is the honorable mention. All right, number one. Number one. All right, my number one today, Atlas Hybrid. Uh, I have not thrown anything in the SPI catalog that rolled quite as well. 
as the Atlas Hybrid. Granted, I probably have been throwing, what, SPI for five, six years now? Five or now? six now, at least. And before that, I exclusively threw hammers. So this is my first Columbia 300 experience, and it did not disappoint. It was a very good ball, uh, very strong. Uh, I could roll it as gently as I could. I could stand right and throw it straight up 10 and not have any issues keeping it right. And uh, it feels like a ball that I could use probably all night long. Uh, and I feel like that's everything else I threw today just didn't quite make that hit that mark. So that's why it's my number one. And believe it or not, for me, my number one was actually the uh, Rhino, the what is it though, the Ivory Ivory Rhino Pro. So weaker ball, but there's something about that right that Rhino line, and it's been like that since it came out. God, how many years ago? Oh God, long time. Thirty ago. years ago. Yeah, easily. and it's another one of those lines that it's just it's so smooth it's so good you can play it anywhere you know we were probably five games in six games in and I snagged it and I could play as if I was playing a fresh house shot it was amazing that is demo day um, we do have some more stuff coming out soon I uh, don't know where it'll fit based off of when this video comes out but you got anything else, Sean? Uh, no, the only thing I'm going to add is uh, we should have a live coming up soon, probably within the next week or so. Uh, maybe, well, not, maybe not that soon. Maybe not that soon. That's a little hopeful. Uh, probably probably the next, next month or so. Next month. I would say next month comfortably. Yep. Uh, so we'll have to make sure everyone tunes in for that. Yep, got some, some news and some changes and things like that. No rebrand. You know, we're going to be the 607 Ball Buster still. We're, we're liking that a lot. But anyway, I think that's about everything. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It's the number one way to help out the channel. For 607 Ballbusters, I'm Zach. I'm John. I'm Braden. Talk to you guys later. Peace.